Yeah! Hello there, person! Welcome to another video making the game Wraithbinder. This week, we got a new mode. This is pretty fun. It's the co-op mode, and I really think this is going to be the bread and butter of Wraithbinder. Um, so far, I've made this mostly a PvP game, but most people really want to play co-op to start out with when it comes to online multiplayer games. So, I created this mode where basically you have, um, you can start off with, you can start off with all eight players. I, let's actually do that. Let's put all eight players in here so you can see what it would look like with friends. I swear I know how to press the number seven on this new keyboard. <laughs> I have to hold down a different mode to get into numbers. I'm just still getting used to it, even after weeks of typing on this new keyboard. Right, so here's what it might look with, like with friends. I'm gonna make it so there's all different colors for everybody's players, but for now everybody's the same color. Um, but anyways, the, the point of this co-op mode is, uh, the objective is to stay alive, number one, protect your core, which is this thing here, this is your core in the middle of the map, and then defeat the boss. So after a few minutes of play here, like these creeps just come in, they start attacking your your guardians, your these basically these guardians are like towers, and um, and eventually they start building their way in here and like can start attacking your core. So keep your core alive, stay alive yourself, and also defeat the boss. If you defeat the boss, which is like a big old creep that comes after a few minutes, then you win. All right? So it's a cooperative effort. You and the other players are working together to um, to take down this boss. Uh, so I want to go ahead and we're gonna let's just play this right let's go ahead and play this but first I want to show you some uh, some other new things before we get into this too much I want to get to show you these new blink animations running animations and levitation animations so check this out uh, I'll slow down time so we can see this nice and clear there so we're at 60% uh, time so this is what the new uh, blink animation looks like we have this color aberration trail that goes behind you That's pretty fun. Um, makes that look really, really cool, and it just, I don't know, it's so so cool looking that you want to use the blink ab ability a lot more. Um, which is always a good thing, and I, I, I always a good feeling like, when, a, when an animation makes you want to use something, that's like, whoa, okay, we got a cool animation now. Alright, so, um, let's do levitate. This also has some color aberration applied to when you start to levitate and I think at the end did I get it right at the end yeah oh yeah both of them have it okay so just a little bit of color aberration there makes this even more fun than it was before uh, and then also the the boots these are probably Probably one of the coolest effects because it just lasts forever. Right? Doesn't, don't you just want to run forever now? Alright. Okay, so let's go ahead and play a match here with this co op mode. I've only played a few of these. So this is going to be one of the first co op modes ever to be played. Let's see if me and some bots can take down the boss. In fact, we need some bots. The bots have no idea. The bots are just playing like it's PvP mode. I have not done any customization on the bots uh, AI code yet to kind of make them smarter as far as uh, this world goes with this co-op mode. Oh wait, no, everybody shouldn't start with the, the boots. <laughs> They're all running around like it's like, yeah, boots party. Um, oh, a couple other fun things that have that have gotten uh, added this, this week. Uh, different seed. Um, when you're at full MP, it says full, so that's kind of nice. Like it's like a little reminder, like, hey, you're full. Why not use one of your abilities? Oh, that's right. So if I, oh, and also this, when you charge up with the, uh, when you charge up your blade, your character flashes, so it's a little clearer when you were charged up. So that with the combined with the full MP is kind of a nice couple little things, which just clarify what the heck's going on. Ooh, this is really cool having access to these temples. So I made these temples uh, locked behind um, 
basically you have to cut through some of these blocks to get to these temples. But these temples are really powerful. So you go over here and this gives me, this is going to give me the ice element. So the ice, basically now I can freeze everything. Every enemy that I hit will freeze for a second. And uh, you see my sword is gl is glowing with a little bit of iciness. Let's go kill some of these creeps. Alright, cool. Our, um, our guardians have done a good job here. So another fun thing about co-op mode is you really get to use your skybot a lot more. It is a lot more uses for it. So for example, I could use my skybot once I get the ability. I could, I could build some blocks right here to block off creeps from coming down this path. It's cool, I just bound that creep as a wraith. Um, yeah, I'm really, really enjoying this co-op mode. It is, it's a ton of fun. Um, the, the few matches I've played have been really cool. See, so far the bots have no idea about how to defend our base, but in fact, they're doing pretty good. They're not like, um, Everybody's spread out, and it looks like some of them have creeps also. So those little pink dots near the players are creeps that they've bound. So, and I haven't, I'm not seeing very many creeps actually make it to our base right now, which means that the bots are doing a better job than I, I gave them credit for there for a second. Let's go ahead and mess around a little bit, maybe hit some switches. Explore. See what we can find. Secret paths are always a good thing. Exploring is going to give you levels. Oh. Who doesn't want the fire element as well? Can you, I wonder if you can stack elements. I don't even know. Yeah, we got fire now. Everything's lit on fire. I love it. Ooh, yes. Blink. Give me blink. Ooh, some experience, thank you. Hey, this is kind of a fun secret too. When all the grass gives you experience. So, if you find an area with a bunch of grass on it, just walk across all the grass, because you, you actually will, in a lot of cases, you'll level up just from walking on the grass. Like this. Let's see if I get a level from that. Oh, almost. Here we go, this will level me. Yeah! I probably should make that something a little more, um... I mean, leave leave that cool feature in, but also add in something where, like... Uh... Um, I think you should get some experience for... All of the areas that you've explored. So, there is a fog of war. Um, it looks like most of my team has actually uncovered most of the map here, but... When you initially get... A piece of fog of war like when you initially explore a piece of the map it I think it should give you a little experience for that so I'm gonna do that so you get some experience for grass but you also get experience for just exploring in general oh another thing about co-op mode that would be great is if um, you had some indicator of your core's health so I could see right now, it'd be nice to see on my screen without having to go back to my base. Um, it'd be nice to see how, if my core is still alive, like, or if it's being hurt by enemies or what. So the boss should be coming in here any second. The boss can appear in any one of the four corners of the map. Oh, there they are! Okay, so I've never never done this before. The bots have no clue about the boss. They're not they're not like gonna go, hey everybody go attack the boss. They're all just gonna keep exploring randomly. But I think if a see I'm right here, there's two other players at this boss. The boss is that red dot on the left there. So it's kinda nice that the it shows the boss on the minimap for you. There the boss is. What's cool about the boss is they can it just stomps over um, pillars and stuff like that. See that he just crushes any pillars in his way. And he can basically walk through walls by crushing them. Look at this. He's just crushing all those walls. And I'll go over down here. You can see he's just going to crush, crush, crush his way through all that. <laughs> oh, I love that about the boss. Okay, so let's start fighting this guy. I need to work on his, um, his collision box. I made his collision box really small at first. 
so that um, he can still pathfind his way even on skinny paths, like little skinny bridges, he can get across those. So he's not going to be stuck in a certain area of the map right now. But that also means that I have to get closer to him to hit him and also I can walk pretty close to him and not even get hit. So there's some issues there, I gotta work on this. And also, we got to work on the art as well. I just basically took a model for um, one of the other bigger creeps and um, just made it big and didn't worry about cleaning up the animation at all. Whoa, did he try and get stuck? I threw this grenade and he was like stomping all over it. Ooh, Skybot Blaster? Yeah. There's like a little bit too much screen shake going on too, cause uh... Oh no! It looks like our core got defeated! That's another thing, it needs to zoom in on the core uh, when uh, you're defeated. Or, or um, if you're victorious against the boss, it, it should zoom the camera over to the boss. Okay, so there you have it for this week. Thanks for watching, person. Catch you next time. Oh, hey, shortcut. Oh, am I going to get it right? <laughs>